numbers. Yo. Started here on the dynasty. It's gonna be a good matchup right here. What's good, Dojo? What you up to, man? I don't know if I'm gonna win this one, but we gonna try. Glad to have you with us in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Centennial Bank Stadium, home to the Red Wolves of Arkansas State, and fans have been fired up for this one all day. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we see the number seven team in the country, the James Madison Dukes, taking on the 18th ranked team in the land, the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Let's go. NBA Sports College Football by Reese Davis joined here in the booth. Mike David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Dukes will kick it off to get us underway. Oh, look at Mr. Hands taking the squibber inside the third. Nice return Whip. there, and he'll be dragged down at the 34. Dang, he already... Why is my dude already sore already? Getting set for first down. Looking downfield, it's Rainer. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. When you reach this point in the season, these types of games, top 25 matchups, really determine whether you're going to be a contender. Yeah, and really show what you're going to be the rest of the season. How are you going to finish strong throughout the season? You know, the first part of the season, now getting to the middle of the season, Palmer, getting a chance to show what you're about so you can finish strong. It's a resume builder, no doubt about it. And really, there's been so much anticipation building up to this top 25 matchup. So which team can control their emotions, I think, goes a long way in who wins this. Third and one. Got it. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And I think on that last one play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect I to see land more on my dude like coming that. <laughs> And the Red Wolves will snap it on first and ten. Fire. 
The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Wants to throw on first down. Avoids pressure. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. It's complete. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets it up for the first down. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. Just outside the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. They go to the ground. Not a lot there. Picks up one inside the 20 to the 19. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw, it's Rainer. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Hey man, if you're gonna force some completions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. You got the catches. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the tight end. Another incompletion on third down. As a quarterback, this is going to be a very tough game. You're going up against one of the top 20 units in the entire country. They know who your primary target is. They're going to be keying on him, just like they did that last time, forcing the incompletion. Smashes it between the uprights. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening draw. Lots of boys, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. The coach has to be happy. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside his five. Oh, no, get and that, he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. On first down, here comes this offense. He'll start this drive firing. Oh. And as he throws, got his man downfield. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. And those long shots, man, I tell you what, it takes a little bit longer to develop. So as a quarterback, you know you got to buy a little bit of time. Mad respect, man. Hanging in there, knowing he's going to get hit, but still making the big play down the field. Power football with the run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The defense is about firing off. Firing the offensive guys and staying in their gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You can tell the defense. Everyone was right where they're supposed to be. Nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab, it's Russell. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Glass half full, glass half empty, guys. Obviously, broke. they got a completion. You prefer that over incompletions or interceptions. But glass half empty. I mean, they made that third down a bit more manageable. 
foot and hop on the next one. All right. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Hudson. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC's like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Hudson. And he'll oh. hold it and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison. You know, long touchdown passes don't have to come in the shape of go routes and posts. You can throw a slant. If your guy is able to make one dude miss and build up some steam, when you've got speed like that, you can take it to the house. And that's exactly what he did. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interested to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Rayner. Fires to the tight end. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to get the first through the air. And that pass in. I looked at him the whole time. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. They got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. The running back has it. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Down Dialing up a second down pass play. He's got it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Dukes. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways. And they mad. do it so quick, so mad. explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top 10 offense. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. 
Miami has the lead right now, but this Canes crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet there in the 305. They're up by 10 over UMass. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. He wants to throw. Fires to the big fella. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him to have. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. The lone back's got it. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Great job of going by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Scanning the field, it's Rainer looking down the middle. There were serious revolutions on that third down pass, but it's incomplete. I think for the quarterback, he's going to have to be so good with his eyes in this game. You're going up against one of the best defenses in the country. You've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw to your primary target oh like he was on that last one. Gets the first one of the day out of there. He ought to be fresh. They only used him twice in that victory last week. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. Using his legs, it's Russell. Shakes off the tackle. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. How about the defense trying to slow this dude down? He's a Heisman contender for a reason. He's so difficult to tackle, and what a challenge. All week long, they knew that they had to key on this guy and really try to at least limit him if they were going to win. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Russell. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about Come on, we need to stop. the catch. You saw it right Please. there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Got it in the middle. It's Russell. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good oh, pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. He'll come out throwing on first down. Quick completion on the out route. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. The Dukes have it with a first and ten. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. 
wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. On first down from the 13-yard line. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Setting up the screen, and it's picked off. I picked it. Well, the defense comes away with the pick. Boy, I've never seen personnel. that before. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. Arkansas State has it ready to go to work on offense. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important down two possessions. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. To the air. It's Rayner. Pressure coming. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. right now. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Picked off. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Yeah, I know. I'm just frustrated. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. That last drive was a punch in the gut, throwing the pick in the red zone, Jesse. Yeah, it just seemed like there was some miscommunication down there in the red zone. David, this drive, the QB and receivers just have to do a better job being on the same page. Yeah, and I think you pull the positives, right? We moved the football down the field. We had a chance to score, but we can't let those opportunities slip between our hands. Let's go get some points. I know that one hit the ground, but you haven't seen that a lot. He completed over 70% of his throws in their last game. He's over 80% in this game. My old offensive coordinator, Sean Payton, used to say, Bore me with completions. This guy will put you to sleep. And he almost ran joking. away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Love the awareness by the defense here. They're trying to get the running back the ball in space, but the defense was expecting it. They had guys in position. They located the football, and they went and game tackled. Almost intercepted. Oh, It'll buddy. Fall in the way the defense almost came up with a turnover. That bad. And sometimes you see great shooters, and they get on fire, and they just can't miss. And that's what this QB looks like the last couple weeks, man. Just completion percentage through the roof, running the offense at an elite level. You can tell in complete control of this offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Caught over the middle. It's Russell. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep him away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up in the rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense.
looking for room. It's Cross. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. The Red Wolves will boot it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, James Madison ready to go back on the attack. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think offensively, you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answers are. And now on second down for this offense. They'll try the run. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. They're getting this guy lathered up. <clears throat> And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. I know it would be sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. The gift to the back. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. And this guy's going to have to come through for you in this game. He picks up another first down, but he's your Heisman contender. He's the best player on your football team, and he's a guy that's just going to have to touch the ball a lot in this game if you're going to win. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. He got three on first down at second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And stick him to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Quickly to the tight end. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up the decision for this coach. It's a really nice job in coverage defensively there because that tight end, he wasn't really even open. Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity. But great tackle, short of the stick, setting up fourth down. The offense is going to stay on the field now. This is within field goal range, but they already have one miss today. On fourth down, trying to find his man. And the incomplete pass turns the ball over on down. That is just a play you've got to be able to come up with. They don't get bigger than that. Oh. Fourth down, you've got to make the catch. Whether it's a perfect throw or whether it's off of your body, you're good enough and you're athletic enough to haul that play. And you've got to make the play for your quarterback and your offense to keep that drive alive. And he's not able to come up with it. They'll give it to the back. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. They'll throw it on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. 
He scrambled forward and got a few and turned that into a positive play. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Offense gets set for second down. On the ground, it's cross. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. They'll leave it with him. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Yards, so I'll take it. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. <laughs> Dropping back, it's Rayner. Fires to the big fella. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. I think that time it's offensively, big corner, just though. trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. Looking to throw on third. Oh. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? With a double-digit deficit here in the second half, they're going to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Just feeds the running back. There to make the tackle, and with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. You got to stick with me, dude. I know you, you banged up. But. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. The give. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. 
They've been running it, but now the pass. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Arkansas State! So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now oh, they've go got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help in the defense. Now they'll try to get the two and make it a three-point game late. Trying to punch it in. Oh! And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Is no good. That keeps the score. James Madison, 14. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Number 32, set to kick it off. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. James Madison sends the offense back onto the field. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating, because you, you think you might get points, and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football-type deal. The offense now needs to provide a little spark and give this defense some hope. No doubt, David. they got to turn the page, and they've got to play with a little bit more urgency here, knowing they've got to get that one back and put a good drive together. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Works his way to the 38 after gaining five. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that one play to pick up the first. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Powers through. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And, and I think the biggest thing for this young man is we've seen him be so great all throughout the season. How do you finish? And how do you finish decides if you win that big trophy at the end of the year? He's in the Heisman running late in the season. I bet you he'll get a lot of touches today. Going to the running game. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe. Second and seven. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. Looking for a crease, it's Russell. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I think if you're offense here, the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late. If you get the first down, that's ball game. There's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field. So let's dial up our best play offensively. Let's make sure our best players are touching the football here. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds. Oh, but a no. big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And obviously, getting the completion, it's a killer. They get a new set of downs. you got to find a way to make a play. Now, the saving grace, I guess, Jesse, is he ran out of bounds. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a oh, second look. It. And the play will stand after the replay oh, move. Just does a little double-checking to make sure. And the Dukes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. They'll go to the ground. 
He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly well, trying to get that ball now. back and preserve oh, time okay. for their offense. The Dukes are threatening in the red zone. Running to the left. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison. That'll give him a little more breathing room as they try to push this winning streak to five. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Oh, look at Mr. Hands taking the squibber inside the third. He's brought down, but a really nice return gets it to the 41. Arkansas State ready to go back to work on offense. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. Tom. And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Oh. Going the other way, and he's got room. Touchdown, Dukes! How about that D coming up with a play like that? They add on another score, and now that record oh so close to going to 8-1 and one on the season. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Oh, look at Mr. Hands taking the squibber inside the 30. He'll be stopped, but good work there to get the ball out to the 37. Guys, we'll see if this Red Wolves offense can get moving. At this point, it really hasn't been your best day. Just try to find something to build on here at the end, David. Nah, just try to keep fighting. Show your kids you're going to keep fighting. Keep throwing the football. Try to get some points up. Call them. The points have been at a premium. They haven't scored very much. But keep fighting, man. Yeah, and just, you know, try to find things to build off of for next week as well, right? I mean, it's all about continuing to improve week in and week out. So whether that's identifying playmakers or just seeing what you can come up with here at the end of this game and not quitting. It's caught downfield. And a big game there. He's knocked down immediately at the 45. I'll tell you, you've got to give this defense credit. That was only his second catch of the game. He came into this as one of the best receivers in all of college football. But this defense had a plan. They had shut him down. And the defense will corral the quarterback. And down he goes at midfield. And how about this defense taking care of business? Keeping that guy under 200 yards is a heck of a day. Their offense has obviously done their job. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. If I had told you that one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football was going to have less than 200 yards passing in this game, you might not have had that on your bingo card, but that's what's in fact happened. This defense has done an outstanding job getting pressure on him like they did right there getting his He makes a catch. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the well, first down marker. Winning those individual six-second battles every play. Time after time after time after time, after time and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but when you, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort, tremendous execution. Now, I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to well, go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job yeah, of this team being ready to get the W. Time. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.